The following video contains content owned and created by Rooster Teeth. Please support the official release before watching my video. Thank you. Oh. My. Goodness. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Yo. What it do YouTube? It's me. Can't stop a money. Say it with me now. Can't stop a money. I did that backwards. And we are back because I'm excited. Inside the hyperbolic reaction chamber. And this is, this is our reaction to volume five, chapter one of Ruby. Yes, guys, volume five, chapter one of Ruby is finally on YouTube, which means us reactors and then some could react to this with you all. Especially for those that haven't seen it yet. Guys, cool fact before we begin. If you are watching this right now, today is the 21st, which is the day that they actually dropped the actual episode on YouTube. But in this square, in this video, this is actually on the 16th or 15th. Yes. Your eyes has not, de has not deceived you. This is our pre-recorded reaction. Yes. Hi, everybody of present day. The why, why I'm doing this now? Guys. Oh, my God. You guys are absolutely amazing. Before we begin, big the big shout out. Heart from the heart. From everything in my being. Big shout out to my new friend, Ember Nova. Or as she like to go by, Nora Nova. At, on Twitter. At Arctic Shiver. Yes. This very beautiful person, this very beautiful person was so nice enough to let me use her first, your know, Harusa T first account to watch this episode and record my reaction for you guys. You know, so I can already have it for you on this day that you're watching it. So, yes, big shout out. You're such a beautiful person. I love you. I love you all, guys. That means this means the world to me that you guys will actually make a Twitter for me. Let me use your account. I don't even ask. Donate. You know, it's it's this is it's so it's it's surreal. It's unimaginable. And I and we keep growing. We keep grinding, guys. You guys are making this happen. This is the best experience of my life, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Big shout out to you, girl. Uh, shout out to the Ruby community, the Ruby hype, the Ruby train, guys. I'm with you all. Let the cliffhanger, let the cliffhanger hell begin. Oh my God! I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to expect. So we're just gonna hop right into this, guys. Without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is Ruby, Volume Five, Chapter One, titled "Welcome to Haven." But first, let's get hype. Play my music! <laughs> Here we go, guys. I'm excited. My heart is pumping. My heart is pumping. This is a good 23 minutes, a whopping 23 minutes. We get to see the new intro. I can't wait to see that. I love excited. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. A lot of you guys already watched it, but oh my goodness. The city of Mistral. What's up, Crow? It's about time. Hi, Nora. Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles. Broken airships, destroyed settlements. Oh, and, you know, all those people and monsters that tried to murder us. <laughs> we were fine. Only one of us almost died. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so how much farther wow. do you have? Almost there. 
I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic route. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I can't believe this. You guys are so awesome. Shout out to you guys for the Ruby community, man. That certainly something. Oh my gosh, look at all the weapons! Vendors here will sell you just about anything, whether they should or not. They really made the most out of these mountains. Every inch. And stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up you go, the nicer it gets. And we are going up! All the way up! Oh, is that who I think it is? Tell me. So, how much farther? We're in the yes, it is. now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the Hi, long Weiss. trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I just hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. <laughs> Is disturbance? everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over Lake Matsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcast this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Mayday! Mayday! We are a small passenger flight and our Huntress is down! We aren't equipped to deal with this! Oh, man. The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline. Grim. Get him off us! If anyone can hear this... Ah! They're in trouble. We're going to help them, right? What? No. I'm trying to yeah. avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. Sorry, kid. Oh. My ship, my rules. I hope somebody picked up over though. I do, I do appreciate Weiss for, uh, for trying to stick there, though. <sighs> Guys, this is absolutely amazing. I can't believe you guys was actually in the movie. Some of you all were actually in the movie theater watching this. I can only imagine. Hello? The crawler. Hello? Maybe try louder? There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. No, this isn't right. Come on. Wait for us! Yeah, it's pretty empty. Like they evacuated. Get ready. There could be trouble. Oh shit. Hi, Lionheart. We only got hey, such long to live. Why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Huh? Oh, right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ruby mm -hmm. Rose. Jean Arc. Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. <laughs> Lyren. to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart at your service. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but... What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Crow, the children oh, that's right, the already relic. know. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? 
So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? They were so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable! Total garbage! Oh. <laughs> we can't let, let them, them get, get away, away with this. this! Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. There you go. <laughs> Guys. Paul Everything's Blake. Everything's gonna be okay. Just feels so good to watch this, guys. Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's all right. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. Voice sound familiar. You need better security. Ilya. Please, I, I just need to talk. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Blake. Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight and they denied knowing anything and everything we found on your scroll. It talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up. But it's enough to sway the fawn is here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. Your plan isn't gonna work, Blake. Please. Just How's leave not gonna work? before it's too late. You're going to have to make me. I know. I have to say, Crow, this all seems oh, yes. very reckless, even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces, saw monsters crawling over the city, at Lysian knights attacking citizens, and then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. Oh. Mistral's oh. controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. We lost so many great huntsmen, teachers from this very institution, and it's only gotten worse. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council's still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. <sighs> and on top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay! They're bad. Raven knows. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. <laughs> oh, he used to be a teacher? The four no one he drinks a lot. have the power to perform feats of magic. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. Spring is the problem. 
What happened to her? She was determined at first, when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. She... ran. Abandoned her training, everyone. That was oh. over a decade ago. There's no telling where she could be now. Oh I... my god! At least, I have a pretty good idea. Are you serious? It's not exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news! After all these years, where? I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Brownwin tribe. Raven. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yang's mom? That's right. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Raven's managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. A few weeks? That's right. Leo, maybe you didn't hear me. My sister has the Spring Maiden, and I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. Yeah, go now. Go now. And perhaps you didn't hear me. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. Then damn the council. We'll do it ourselves. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah! There you go. Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this? We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible. But Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched. And I'm not the fighter I used to be. No offense, but these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter and we'll be lost. He we has a point. One shot at this, and it needs to be perfect. <laughs> you know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. Speaking Perhaps of that, where right. is Oscar? But he's not. I'm doing the very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. All right. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leo. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. As bad as I want them to go now, and for it to be all out need, war. Professor. They need Likewise. to wait. How can I forget? Oh my god. Oh my god. So, what do we do now? You four head back to the house. I need a drink. That's where he meets that's where he meets Oscar. 
Yeah, right when volume Excuse four cut me. off. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shut up, I'm getting there. <laughs> Um, I'm supposed to tell you, I'd like my cane back. Oh, I got chills. He already know. He know what's up. It's good to see you again, Oz. So now that, yeah, I think he knows how to use it. I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll know how to use it. Aren't you a little young to be drinking? Yay! A uh, water. <laughs> it's hot yeah. out. Oh, sure. I think we're going to get that <laughs> strawberry sunrise. You're telling me you're too young to drink? You look like a regular huntress, and a beauty at that. I'm good. Thanks, pal. Seriously. Not too bulky, not too lean. You're... Just right. Yep. Like I said, I'm good. <sighs> and your hair. Oh, don't... <laughs> oh my god! And then she hit him with the metal. I never seen somebody bounce seven different ways with one punch. This one's on the house. He's been driving me crazy. Hmm? So, what brings you around these parts? Thanks. And I'm, uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, well, Ray. Raven Bronwyn. Thanks again. Okay, she's looking for a mom. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. <laughs> hey, man, just put some ice on that. It'll be okay. Hey, girly. Seriously? This isn't over? I heard you're looking for someone. Hmm. I'm so pulled and I'm locked into this. Can I help you? Um, yeah, is there a ruby rose here? Why? Well, hostile. I found him. <laughs> I think her uncle could use some help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, read her comics in peace. <laughs> well, did you get drunk again? Maybe. Oh. You have silver eyes. Who are you? <laughs> uh. Well. My name is Oscar Pine. 
You probably know me as Professor Ozpen. Uh oh. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Oh, that's it. Freak. Well, here's a new intro, guys. Oh, that was great. That was so great. Oh my god. Oh, the cliffhanger. Oh, wait. Wait. Can we at least can we at least get them to question him first? Okay. That wasn't such so such a bad cliffhanger. It's only gonna get worse, I already know. Oh man, how long do we have to wait, guys? How long? Just let me hit me hit me with it. But yes, guys, awesome chap, awesome chapter to start off. Awesome intro, love the intro. Um, I was debating to close my eyes and just listen to it, but you know, I'm I'm looking at it with y'all, so it's like, let's do this. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so yeah. First off, Dr. Lionheart, well, Professor Lionheart, <laughs> he's definitely lying to them just to cover, just to cover what it, what it, what it could be, what could he be covering up? What could he be lying about? I mean, Yang and uh, the Yang knows that the spring maiden, well, first off, of course, Raven is with the bandits. But is the spring maiden with Raven? According to Crow, that he should, according to Crow, she is. Um Definitely Dr. Watts, that's right. Dr. Watts is definitely behind Dr. Lion Professor Lionheart lying. Man. It's gonna all be the Yang's on the way to go see to go see Raven. While everybody else is planning to go f to go see Raven too, I wanted them to go now. But oh, oh, I don't know. Oh my god, I think they should have went ahead and went forward. I think Doctor Lionheart was just saying that just to cover up them not going for Raven now. Probably so. Who knows? Oh man, guys, what do you guys think about this? Let's talk. Um, I plan on making discussion videos. Maybe uh predictions something like that previews whatever it is guys what y'all thought what y'all thought about that let me know in the comment section leave a like comment subscribe if you're new once again uh once again the shout out goes out to uh i almost got a name nora nova for letting me uh for letting for, let, for giving me this this chance to look at it right there god bless you thank you so much i love you guys i love you nora everything guys thank you all and I'll be sure to see you all in my next video. Sayonara.